Hi everybody and welcome back to Tales of Pisaria. A uh, quick little recap while we are on the screen still. Last time we got out of the Calyx, I think it's called. Something like that. Into Hex and Isle. And Inominat was there waiting for us. Um, number one got turned into a dragon. And Savi tried to fight Inominat, didn't work out too well for him. Luffy set tried to fight Inominat. And then pretty much made Inominat use Hyper Beam on the dragon to kill it. So. Oh, and took a fire blast in the face of his trouble. So with that, let's continue. And we managed to escape. He got away. A silver flame. A strange art that Malak used. Did you forget that you have the power to digest malevolence? That thing may be a fragment, but it's still part of you. But the dragon attacked me. If it hadn't disrupted my concentration like that, I never would have let my fragment lay a finger on me. So long as you learn from your mistake, such a ruse won't work a second time. After all, Malakim are mere servants of the Empyreans. As long as we stay wary, they pose no threat to our ideal world. Your awakening is nearly complete. None within your domain can stand against you without the power of the four elemental Empyreans. You don't say. And they are fast asleep, far beneath the Earth pulses. I'm going after them. No. Oh. Not now. We need to make preparations for the ceremony of suppression. We'll send this one after them instead. A demon? Will he be reliable? True, he can be hard to control. Even after he succumbed to demonhood, he withstood my illusions for seven days and nights. Even now, he resists on an instinctual level. However, he used to be known as the most fearsome pirate in all the seas. His strength is equal to any legates. So if anyone had any you doubts still... capture the Therion Velvet. Do whatever you have to, as long as you keep her alive. Wait. First... First, kill him. Kill Lafayette Before my sister's eyes. He's the only thing keeping her from falling to despair. <laughs> it's true. Demon or not, he still possesses an odd sort of pride. I'll have to relieve him of such a meaningless burden. Oh my word. Well, that made for good training, at least. We fought sure. an Armatus, an Empyrean, and a dragon. It's a miracle we're still alive. It's all thanks to Fee. He's still asleep. He must have used all his physical and mental strength. <sighs> a fire that burns away malevolence. That's quite the talent he's got there. Is it because he's part of Inominot? Sure could be. In one sense, that's a lucky break for us. But on the other hand... <sighs> anyway, I lost that bet, and I was so sure I was gonna win, too. Awful lot of drama you're making over 100 gold. <laughs> Don't you dare laugh off 100 gold! <laughs> one with no respect for gold will be by 20 lions mauled. Everyone knows that. Right. Anyway, what <laughs> do we do next? <laughs> Nothing's changed. We seal Inominat away, and kill Artorius. Even if Inominat has awakened, there must be a way to seal him back again. Our best lead is still Grimoire's ancient book. We should meet up with Benwick and the others. Are you sure you want to stay with us? I don't know if it's the right choice or not. But I refuse to believe Lord Artorius is right. That sacrifices are inevitable bumps on the road to a better world. That's why I'll do what I believe is right, and fight him. Even if I'm wrong, I won't have any regrets. Do you have any idea how frustrating you are? <laughs> Here one to talk. Aizen, get in touch with Benwick and the others. 
Eisen. A demon. It had to have been. Eisen? <laughs> I think we need a break more than anything. That was a long stretch of battle. Seconded. Besides, the boy and Zavid aren't waking up anytime soon. <laughs> Let's find a place to sleep for tonight. Eleanor, look after said. Maybe you ought to carry him. He did all this for you. Please. The hell? Very well. You can at least carry the poor kid. Damn, you're cold. No, quite the opposite. All right. Uh... Good luck out there. Show him how I. All right. So let's talk to you. I haven't talked to one of you people for a while. Oh, okay. So. We've got a couple of these, Stavile Forest, Morgana Woods, and Titania. Interesting, I'll have to keep an eye out for them. Uh, place to sleep for the night. I'm glad you didn't win that bet, Mogilu. <laughs> sure, you're glad, but what witch would be happy at losing? <laughs> and you pampered Velvet like crazy! It's your fault I lost! <laughs> really? I don't remember doing anything. Nope. Wasn't us. <laughs> Staying out of it is just as bad. <laughs> if you don't throw salt or sugar into an open wound, you're guilty of being too nice. I lost the bet because of you. You owe me. Oh, God. In that case, let us get in on the action. Let's make another bet. Oh, I'm listening. I'll bet 10,000 gold that velvet cracks. Oh. I'll make that same bet. Ten thousand. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Hey! Wait a minute! You both know that I'm the one who wants to bet that she cracks! Uh. You should have spoken up first. We well, can call the whole thing off if you want. No, no. What kind of gambler would I be if I back down now? I'm afraid I have to take that bet. I hereby bet ten thousand that Velvet doesn't crack. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? For someone so stubborn, you can be surprisingly cute sometimes. You're calling a witch cute? Oh, she's it's blushing. Slander. You both owe me the money you bet as reparations. She's adorable. She's not just cute. Oh. <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> So, should I think of you as my sister? I'm a Moloch named Ceres. I've inherited Selica's memories, that's all. And that doesn't make you the same person? What exactly defines a person's identity? I may have her body and her memories, but... <sighs> you're right. If your soul has changed, you're not the same person anymore. Which means... Even if I were Selica, I don't have the right to be called your sister. I followed Artorius's orders without question, sacrificing my own flesh and blood. What about me? I devoured you. I have no right to condemn you for what you've done. There's a difference, Velvet. I wanted you to do it. Even had I survived, I would have given myself to you before long. I wanted you to have my power, no matter the cost. But why? Right after the advent, Selica's memories returned to me. <sighs> it was then I understood what exactly it was I had done. Arthur, kind and caring, transformed into the cruel Artorius he is now. Why did your memories return? I don't know. I've heard that very rarely Malakim can regain the memories of their previous lives. Or perhaps this is my punishment for the pain I brought to you all. The stronger I feel my love for Arthur, the less I can forgive Artorius. 
My hatred of him has grown so deep, I'm not Selica anymore. As Ceres, I can never bring back the Arthur that I loved. Neither do I have the power to defeat Artorius. But you can. You're a Therian. You fully absorbed my power. You can face the Shepherd. I know. I will stop him. Forgive me, Velvet. I've pushed everything onto you. My hatred, my determination. I wanted to apologize one last time, at the end. I'm glad I had a chance to know you. I'm glad that once I could be Luffy's sister. And Selica and Arthur's sister as well. I was happy. Velvet. Should you be up so soon? Yeah, but... Stay back! <gasps> it's finally come to this. But of course it did. After all, I chose my revenge over a world of peace. I can't complain if people call me the Lord of Calamity. Jeez. Velvet, whether you're human, demon, or Lord of Calamity... It doesn't change that you have beautiful hair. <laughs> Luffy said the same thing to me, a long time ago. He gave me this comb. Your heart, I can tell it aches. Yes. But even still, no. Because of that, I've made up my mind. I'm going to settle things with Artorius and Inominat, once and for all. It must be done. For my sake, and for the sake of those I loved. I will too. Even without my compass, <laughs> I'll place my hand on the wheel and chart my own course. I will defeat Artorius. But if I kill Inominat, Lafayette, and me, and the other Therians, they'll all... A compass, hmm. What will happen if we kill an Eminot? Oh, for God's sake. Aizen! Why the hell didn't you say something? Oh no, hmm. oh no. Calm down, you were passed out at the time, okay? I'm going, I've gotta stop him! What's going on? We got a message from the Von Eltia. That's great. Is everyone okay? Yeah. For now. Huh? While Benwick and the others were making their getaway, they got word that Eifried was spotted in Endgand. Oh, no. They said they're on their way to Lionel Island to meet him. That has to be... Yes, a trap. No doubt set by that horned demon, who may even be Eifried himself. Eifried is a demon? Are you serious? I said may. Uh. Let's head to Lionel Island. <clears throat> Whoever it is, it's a lead. Besides, we can't afford to lose the Von Eltia. How will we get there? Zavid probably sailed off with the ship we came in on. We'll steal one from the harbor. Uh. I may be a calamity, but I'm frugal. What? What did... Zavid... <laughs> Prince Percival safely made it back to the capital. Safely, The yeah. Abbey used everything they had to rescue him. I heard he was kidnapped by the Lord of Calamity. So if they got him back, that demon must be... Dead. Along with all of her gang. That's what a friend of mine in the Royal Army told me anyway. That was The Abbey's nice. propaganda at work again, I see. We're finally safe! Hurrah! Hold up, hold up. From what I hear, no one knows if the Lord of Calamity actually gave up the ghost. 
Her hideout got destroyed, but some say she managed to escape. What makes them think she escaped? Fishermen from Port Renid saw a fleet of Abbey ships near that island that's rumored to be a prison. Just a little bit later, they saw a pirate ship speeding away from the area where the Abbey ships were headed. Well, that was definitely us. Guess it isn't that easy to hide the truth. There was some talk a while ago about prisoners' bodies washing up on shore at Port Renid. So that story sounds plausible, at least. It does. And here I thought I was safe. So where did the Lord of Calamity go? <sighs> the Abbey needs to get their act together and put that monster down already. Go ahead. Talk all you like. Curse it all. If only I'd notice sooner. The issue with that is, right... If they like, tell everyone that, you know, Lord of Calamity's dead, we celebrate, and then we turn up again, like, that just makes them look really fucking stupid, along with the whole, like, you know, lie to the people thing. I don't understand why I do saw that. an Abbey ship heading toward the Sea of No Return. I wonder what they're doing. They've made that whole area off limits. The guild got an order from the Abbey telling us to stay away. They're being nice and careful, and taking precautions to keep the secret of Hexen Isle just that. Yeah, but order or not, no one here is stupid enough to try to sail there. It's said that compasses go dead, and monsters from the deep appear to swallow ships whole. Whatever the case, ships really have sailed there to never return. Everyone knows that the Sea of No Return is bad news. Come to think of it, I heard a ship from some other town strayed into those waters and got attacked by a dragon. A dragon? <laughs> you sure they didn't just get a bad case of the Corsair Scourge and dream up the whole thing? Well, that was my reaction, but then again, the Abbey did tell everyone to stay away, so something must be there. Whatever it is, we'd all best leave it be. The Sea of No Return. What a poetic name. For the Malachim taken there, that poem is a tragic one. Everywhere the Abbey sets foot ends up the same. Hmm. Well, would you look at that? A boat. How about this one? The hole looks dirty, and I don't see anyone aboard. You're surprisingly into this. Maybe you've got a criminal streak in you after all. <laughs> what? No, I... What do you think, Aizen? She'll do. Let's take her. <laughs> That'll do. Well, it's not like we've got a choice. But Jesus, that is a long way to go on a ship that you've only just met. X and I was seriously close. Aizen, everything all right? We're almost at Lionel Island, all thanks to this ship. She's got a good compass. Yeah. If only my inner compass held us steady. From the first moment I laid eyes upon that demon, I think I knew it was Eifried. But some part of me refused to accept it. That's because you're Eifried's friend, don't you think? After all, he taught you that the Reaper's curse was part of you. Part of your creed. We were lost at sea once. Twenty straight days we floated together, close to death. And all he says is, you sure know how to liven up an adventure. <laughs> he sounds like an incredible person. You did the same thing for Velvet, you know. Only because you taught me how, Aizen. Your wheel is yours to hold, right? That's right. That's what it is to live by one's... Look! It's Lionel Island! Not good. The Von Eltia's already there. Of course she is. <sighs> We're too late. Eleanor! What's going on? What happened? A horned demon attacked us out of nowhere! They're breathing. Barely. Zavid rushed here to save us. Had he not come when he did, we'd all be dead. This is all because I hesitated. Where'd they go? Zavid lured the beast away, towards the interior. 
Which way did they go? Let's go. All right. We figure out. Well, we go and help Savid next time. See you guys there.